Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. So in this episode, I am doing Mankind Redefined and uh, hopefully two other quests as well. So for this one, I may need to go up to the very top and access a terminal to input the railroad cassette tape thingy. Ah, no, there's Dr. Lee. Now, there's a little bit of backstory, but Dr. Lee is actually from Fallout 3. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence, but there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? What's Phase 3? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best Efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Can't please, be serious. everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. 
To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. It's great to have you here. We don't usually welcome outsiders. I hope you appreciate your good fortune. Unit B5 Doctor. Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Yeah, I'm sure she is the woman from Fallout 3 who helps uh, whoever Liam Neeson plays <laughs> to build that water purifier. I couldn't be more proud of what we've achieved. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Doc. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Cool, almost leveled up. That was an easy quest. Uh, right, I need to go and see Madison Lee. Speak with Ali Fillmore. Synth unit, you were scheduled for maintenance duty in SRB last night. Anything you'd like to report? Nothing to report, sir. I carried out my duties, as usual. Dr. Ao saw you accessing a terminal. You know you are not permitted to access terminals in that section. Is Dr. Ao mistaken? Dr. Lee. Yes. Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. What is it? Were you or weren't you accessing a terminal in SRB? I was, but I swear it's not what it sounds like. I was cleaning the terminal and it, it switched on by mistake. I was just shutting it down. Was that a stutter? Have you developed a defect, unit? Maybe you need to be reset. Sir, I assure you that won't be necessary. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. You don't want me to tell you twice. Now get back to your duties. Pardon me, sir. Dr. Lee. You again. What do you want now? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. You're the scientist. Why do you think I'm here? Well, let's see. A Brotherhood of Steel airship arrives in the Commonwealth. You find a way to intercept our teleport signal, and now you show up at my door. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lyons let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. 
Are you happy here? You'd think, being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seemed to have everything under control when I left. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Oh, this is going to be a coin flip kind of moment, isn't it? Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. You're wasting your ah. time. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. The Brotherhood desired my creations in order to destroy, to take control. I'm not interested in returning to that way of life. I should have quick saved. I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I already have something that might convince you. How did you... Never mind. Just let me see what you've got. I'm afraid it's bad news. Since when do you know what I consider bad news? Just let me hear it. They lied to me. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing. Is this enough to convince you? More than enough. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying about? Or what their plans are for my work? I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you, that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Alright, so that's one down. Can I use this terminal? Do you think it's weird that I've never seen the surface? What the? Oops. Whoa! Well, that escalated quickly. Jesus. Okay, so I can't use that terminal. Damn. That, yeah, that, that did go quick, didn't it?
One minute I'm fine, next minute I'm being shot at. Okay, let's do that again. Obviously here. I, I knew it was just a matter. Mm. I've been. Okay, I'm gonna skip through all this. I'm only here. You're giving. Mm. Mm. I might mm. say what you. Are you happy here? Ah, Are come you, on. Uh, 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 what does that? This is the most annoying thing when it comes to speech you. checks. They seem to have every. Uh huh. Did you abandon? You mm -hmm. If they didn't tell you what, I'm certainly. Tell me some. Why would I pop? What reason? Father trusts me, and so should you. You're wasting your. The oh come on! I'm not interested. Uh huh. Oh, I went through all that the first time around. I give. Up. All right. Mm -hmm. I had a colleague death several months ago. I wanted to help. Uh -huh. The incident never sat right. If you bring. Uh huh. Us in, do we have a deal? I already have something that might. Have. Here you go. A holotape. This better. Uh huh. They lied to me. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing. Is this enough to convince you? More than I bothered. <laughs> but now, if they lie to me, I'll make my way. Tell whoever. Uh -huh. Alright. Report to Elder Maxon. I'm gonna go meet the. Uh Meet that guy now. Patriot. sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. Trinity? What's that? Trinity is an encryption system with a cipher or key cut up into many pieces. You need several pieces in the correct order to unlock it. I put a Trinity piece with every synth I helped escape. It was a long shot, but I was hoping some good Samaritan would connect it all together. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow. Your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? As in THE railroad. And they gave me a code name too? I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. You 
you've saved a lot of sense. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea to rescue a lot of synths at once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. All right, lead the way. I know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface, but that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. I'm not sure if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? Good. He's here. C-114. It's me. Sir, do you require something? It's okay, Z-1. He's a friend. He's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I... I thought only Mr. Bennett cared. But your friends actually fight for us? That's what the railroad does, Z-1. He's from the surface. I've never met another human willing to help. But, sir, we must make this quick. Right now. How many synths want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your sense to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. Of course I'll help you. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. I'll find it for you. That's great. Unfortunately, the obvious place to look won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. All right. <laughs> Well, I'm going to call this episode to an end here, because I've pretty much done everything I wanted to do in this episode. Hope you've all enjoyed the walkthrough so far. Hope you've all enjoyed the episode. If you could leave a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button, that should be popping up on the screen any moment now. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until next time, you all take care.